At the end of May, riots and looting gripped Minneapolis with the governor calling on the Minnesota National Guard to step up and protect businesses and lives. Tonight, we're hearing from one of those National Guard members who just returned to Duluth from Minneapolis. CBS 3's Jesse Slater has a story. My um, platoon sergeant came into our barracks and said, pack your stuff. We've just been put on standby to go to Minneapolis. In a matter of a week, Chance Fortune went from his job as a CBS 3 Duluth news producer to regularly scheduled training at Camp Ripley as a Minnesota National Guard sergeant in the thick of riots in Minneapolis. Disbelief. Um, I was honestly shocked that it had gotten to the point where they needed to activate the entire National Guard. In Fortune's 10 years with the National Guard, it was only his second time being deployed on a state active duty mission. There was a lot of scrambling. Um, everybody was moving around pretty fast because there was a lot of uncertainty. Nobody really knew what was going on. When his unit arrived in Minneapolis, the sight was shocking. It didn't look like uh, a city in the United States. It looked uh, something similar to a war zone. He says days of rioting and looting made parts of Minneapolis nearly unrecognizable. I saw a lot of uh, bur buildings burned to the ground. Uh, the smell of tear gas uh, was still pretty prevalent in the air, uh, along with the smell of smoldering um, brick. Uh, cars incinerated. The sergeant says he was on the front lines of protests and experienced mixed feelings from demonstrators as the troops arrived. I think some of the protesters believe that the National Guard was activated to disrupt or break up their protests. Uh, that wasn't the case. We were there to protect lives, property and people. Once protesters got a better understanding as to why National Guard members were on site, um, Fortune says their moods changed the and for the most part, everything here, remained right? peaceful. We are here to protect our state, to protect our state's people. Um, and, you know, we're, we live to serve Minnesota. Sergeant Fortune says his unit was the first to leave Minneapolis as troops were being called back. He was there from May 30th to June 2nd. He added protests began to shift from violent to peaceful within.